cute. How long have you had her? Uh, today is two weeks. Two weeks. And the scooter likes her? He's, he's, he's tolerating, tolerating her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming around. You're a cute little baby. I know. Look at that. He's so soft. Yeah, she with the shy face. I keep calling her his baby. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's not my baby. Yeah. <laughs> What's he doing in my house? <laughs> yeah. So, anything in particular you want me to check today? No, just no make problem. sure she's a solid good. How's the house training going? She have any clue about that yet? She's getting there. Really? Yeah. That's she's, great. Yeah, um, I'm not sure if it was you I talked to. I had called to make the appointment and um, was asking about the potted training because we were struggling with yeah. the potty pads, uh -huh. and uh, but I didn't want her to take her in the yard because she hadn't completed her shots yet, and so whoever I talked to. Oh, I think I talked to her actually. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you said it was, you know, it was safe to take her in our own yard, yeah. then I was like, okay, she likes well, it outside better. let's do this outside thing, and yeah. she's doing really good. That's good. She's actually even gone to the door. I mean, she doesn't really know what she's supposed to do when she gets to the door. But, yeah. You know, uh, and That's I've good. been keeping her on a leash in the house so that she can't mm -hmm. run off. That's and perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you want to just really, uh, really stay on top of you. You'll be trained more than she is. Oh yeah, you know? my sleep is yeah. all messed up. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. They're like little sponges. They're constantly learning from you. And they're watching everything you do, and so you have to be cognizant. You know, you have to be really on your game, because she'll learn that. Yeah. To, to work the system. Yeah. She's like, well, if she ignores me, and I do a little puddle of pee right here, I can always get attention. So, you know, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's on the floor playing. I got her on the leash good. and. She starts sniffing. I'm like, okay, let's go potty and get out of the door. She has nice, clean ears. Have you been cleaning her ears? I haven't. She has a nice big ear canal. Yeah. Cocker spaniels can sometimes have a problem with that. Oh yeah. So I, I have a I have a seven year old cocker. Yeah. Do you have uh, any ear flush or anything at home? I do. Yes. Yeah. So what I would do is just just to desensitize her to that, you know, just hold her ear up, put a few drops in there, and massage it, and take your finger with a paper towel and wipe that out, and just get used to her, her handling her ears and doing that. Okay. You know, it's like we got the little treats here. We're giving positive reinforcement just from being at the vet. But what I would do is I would I would hold the ear and then give a treat, and then I would touch the ear and I'd give a treat, and then I put a little squirt and then I give a treat, and then you know, especially find something that she really likes. You can do. Like you put a smear of peanut butter on your hand here, and like I'm gonna touch your ear, and you get a lick, and then I just, you take another lick. Mm. Just a tiny little a positive reinforcer. Okay. And then so she gets to where you can do that with the nails and stuff too, but the ears I'm always suspicious of. So. Yeah. Listen again here. Yeah, I've been pretty fortunate with my other cocker and with his ears. You're pretty easy going, little puppy. Very good. Can I touch your belly? Turn around this way. Got a nice, healthy hair coat. Her skin looks good. She's great. Where'd you get her? Alabama, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it was an eight-hour drive. Oh, my. Where in Alabama? Uh, Union Grove. Okay. Beautiful area. Yeah. It was, it was just a beautiful I drive. I went to school at Auburn, but I, I remember that. Did we get a fecal sample? Yes, we already did. Yep. So we got that set up. I'm going to give her one tablet here to deworm her. She has a general deworm. We always do it twice. Make sure. No treat? Get that one. You're too smart for me. You gobbled all the other treats and she'll let you know. <laughs> you want this piece? There's nothing in that one. Oh my goodness, you didn't want that. Look at that. That's a good pill. Get that one. In it. It's all yours. Scooters be all over that. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's 
So her sample was clear, but you're just giving this. Well, we we always check to see for Giardia and Coccidia and a bunch of other parasites, but this is for hookworms and roundworms and whipworms. We always do this one twice to be sure. Almost all puppies will have some hookworms or roundworms. So and they can get it from their mother, and we don't always pick it up in our sample. So as a preventative, we do this. Okay. But then we're checking for all the other things as well. Did you get it? I think so. No. I'm going to put these drops in her nose now. This is the Bordetella for the contagious cough. A little drizzle in your little nose to make you sneeze. I'm sorry, baby. There you go. A little bit more. Uh -huh. Maybe they get stuck again over there. Okay. If I can sneak it behind you. Yeah. Um, well, now that I have two dogs, I really am thinking about getting pet insurance. Yes, so she her checkup is perfectly normal today, so she has no pre-existing conditions. There's one company called Trupanion that we aren't really affiliated with, but they, they offer a 30-day free trial. So Tim will get you a sign you up today and send you an email and then you can activate that free trial and then you have time to research it or whatever and if you want to buy the insurance then you can but the uh, companion that we found I have a couple girls here that have done the research because they want to get it for their pets and um, they, it's, uh, they pay like 80 percent for almost everything mm -hmm. a few exclusions but it's it's pretty simple and they reimburse you quickly And I don't need any help for this one, okay? I don't, I don't need help for this one. You could think of fart lick, but you couldn't think of intervals. No, because I don't do intervals, I do fart licks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Smith, that's not how you do it. <laughs> Who decides how you do it? Everybody, get your hands.